Welcome to Math Kinder. So just like the video up above told us, there's something called capacity that we will be looking closer at today. What is capacity? Well, maybe the video was fun to watch and fun to look at, but we need to understand what it really is. Capacity is the amount of liquid or other pourable substance, like a liquid, that a container can hold. And so there are different types of capacity. Friends, we have cups, we have gallons, we have ounces, we even have big, big buckets and big tins that hold all this liquid inside. I want to show you a poster before we get into our activity today. And it says, how much can a container hold? You've all drank water before, right? What do you use to drink water? A cup. And so we have a cup here on this poster and it says has the least capacity, which means that that cup can hold the least amount of water than that two liter bottle, than that gallon. All right, well, let's take a look. I'm gonna bring you down to my desk and we're gonna explore some of these containers and we're gonna see how much they hold. Hi, welcome back here to my desk. So today we're gonna to keep looking at capacity. And what is capacity? But how much liquid a container can hold. I have some containers for you that we're gonna explore and we're gonna see which holds the most and which holds the least. Okay, so take a look at these. We have two different cups. One is definitely taller, right? Which one's taller? Uh-huh. One is definitely shorter, but look, one is wider. Wider, one is fatter than the other. Do you see that? Hmm, do you think that's gonna make a difference with how much liquid they can hold? Let's find out. Okay, so what I did was I left this container empty, but I filled this container all the way to the tippy top. That means that it has full capacity of liquid inside. So now what we wanna do is we wanna compare it to this container. Do you think it's gonna hold the same amount? Do you think it's gonna hold less or more? Hmm, let's find out. So I pour it all into the second cup and look, when this liquid was in here, it filled it up all the way. It was at full capacity, but is it at full capacity here? Not quite. Look at all the white space that it's left behind. That's all empty space. I need more liquid for it to be at full capacity. So which cup has the most, has the greatest capacity? The tall one or this small clear one? The tall one. Next up, I have these two containers and I'm gonna lower the camera so you can see it. We have a bin in which you'll find maybe nuts or candy, maybe even pencils inside. And then we have this kind of bin. This might look familiar. You might have some of these at home. You might hold some toys, maybe some shoes. And so we're gonna compare the capacity of this bin. And we have my bin completely full. That means that it's at full capacity. Can you say that with me? Full capacity. And this bin is empty because we're gonna compare it. We're gonna see if this at full capacity also fills this bin up. I wanna see which one has the greatest capacity and which one has the least. Are you ready? All right, so the same amount of liquid, we have not added or taken away water. Does it fill this bin at full capacity? Look at that, all that space. We would need lots more water to fill it at full capacity. But when it was in here, it was all the way, it was all the way to the tippy top. That was so much fun, friends. Fun friends, you're gonna go to this worksheet and you're gonna tell me all about the capacity.